Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. And we're back at it and ready to have a little bit of fun with Calumet Farms, age 16 years. So this is the 2022 release. So a couple of my patrons reached out and like, hey Judge, um, what, do you, what are your thoughts on this uh, Calumet Farms, age 16 years, the 2022 release? I'm like, you know what? I might as well go ahead and get it on the channel. Fun fact, um, I was actually down in Charlotte, North Carolina, visiting and hanging out with all my college buddies uh, for the 4th of July. Brought some good bourbon, as you saw in that last episode. <laughs> and while I was down in Charlotte, um, not so much in North Carolina, but you know me, I'm always going to dip out and do a little bourbon hunting, even when I'm on vacation. So in South Carolina, I saw Calumet Farms 16, 15, and 14 all over South Carolina. And then on the way back... Um, Again, even while I'm driving home, I have to stop the liquor stores all along the way. So close to like the Maryland, Virginia border, I found a ton of Calumet Farms as well. So it's definitely out there. So, all right, let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm actually going to pour both Calumet Farms 15 and 16. Now, this is 15 here. If you recall from last year, I was a big fan of Calumet Farms uh, age 15 years. I will say, though, prior to that, the age 8 and the 10 years, I was not a fan but 15, 16, I was able to try even 14 years as well at a buddy of mine's house, and I really enjoyed it. So I think at least as of last year, they've been doing some really good stuff. Um, when you think of Calumet Farms, again, obviously those other age statements, but then also this is coming from Western Spirits. So Western Spirits, for the most part, they're sourcing their whiskey, sourcing and, and aging it from Barton 1792, which you know I'm a big fan of Barton 1792. But what's interesting about this is that they're blending these always in little batches of uh, 19 barrels. Yep. So 19 barrels for the 2021 20, uh, release, which was age 15 years, and uh, 19 barrels for the 2022 20, release, which is age 16 years. The only other key difference between last year versus this year is the proof. So they stepped it up just a smidge. And from a proof standpoint, this year's is 106 versus last year's was 105. So up a little bit more. And again, when I think about last year, so what I remember about last year's, it was very much, of course, because it's age 15 years, it was very much oak forward, tons of like strawberries and blackberry notes, and a little bit of like maple syrup. So it was like a sweeter fruit for type of a, um, a bourbon with a lot of oak in it. But I enjoyed the hell out of last year. So it'll be interesting to see how different is the 2022 release an extra year, one extra proof point, we shall see. Only other key difference this year, the MSRP, it went up. So last year, I think I got this for like 125, 130. This is like 140, but with tax, was like 150 something. So, um, hey, it is a 16 year age whiskey. So I, I get the reason why the uh, price point is going up. All right, I'm gonna start off with uh, last year's, the 2021 release, age 15 years. Let me get into this real quick. Whew. Last thing I should say about, uh, both of these, same mash bill, 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley. Mm, all right, that nose smells delicious. All right, my friends, here we go. Cheers, everybody. Wow. That is exactly the same as I remember it. Sweet, tons of strawberries, blackberries, a little bit of maple syrup, and that oak is just blended in so well, but it's not like, it's super oaky, but it's not like oak where it's like almost like, you know, kind of takes control. It's blended in very well with the oak. I love this. This is actually, this is still damn good. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Whoever thought I would say that about Calumet Farms, right? Especially knowing my history with them. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Cheers again, everyone. Wow. That is truly fantastic. That is a sleeper. It's funny how good this is. I think a lot of people overlook this because it's not a Buffalo Trace product. It's not an H. Teller or a Stag or a Weller. It doesn't have that Buffalo Trace appeal or even a Heaven Hill product. I think it gets overlooked a lot. Do not sleep on it. At least that was last year's. We shall see about this one, about 2022. All right, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. 
Here we go. 2022, age 16 years, 106 proof. I did air it out a little bit like I always do. I always pour the first little, uh, maybe like an ounce or two in my infinity bottle. So this has been sitting for a couple days. So we shall see. How is it? Got to give a quick shout out real quick to my, my all my friends over here, the Delaware Bourbon Society. Actually, one of my patrons, Gene, uh, is the, uh, he actually leads the Delaware Bourbon Society. So check them out on Facebook. You don't have to be a Delaware uh, guy or, or lady to become a member. So a whole bunch of fun, cool stuff over at the Delaware Bourbon Society. Gene's doing it right. All right. Here we go, folks. Woo. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So the nose on this is definitely different than last year's. The nose on this one is not as so much fruit. A lot more like chocolate. Smidge of caramel. And almost like some uh, orange and apple in there. But in the background, in a lot of oak. Ooh. Yeah. Very chocolate. Almost like a burnt orange peel. A little bit of apple. Mm. Yeah, very chocolatey, almost like a chocolate covered, uh, there's some banana in there too, almost like a chocolate covered banana in a way. This is nice. Completely different. No raspberries, no like cherry notes, no blackberry notes in this one at all. All right, here we go. Let's see, my friends. Cheers, everybody. know the verdict i gotta ring it in that's not good that's holy shit good that is actually fantastic Woo, baby oh man Woo! got me sweating up in the courtroom <laughs> wow this is good it's let me let me before i mean it's obviously a buy but i want to compare it and contrast it to 2015 hold on one second i'm sorry 2021 age 15 years Mm. Oh, wow. This is damn good. And there's a drop left in there. Don't think I'm not going to finish that. So, as I said earlier, of course, this is absolutely a buy. It's that good. I like this one different than this one. I don't think one's better than the other. I like it in for different ways. I like this one because the 2022 release, the age 16 years, it's more, well, A, it had a very long finish, a lot longer than that one. Longer, um, solid, robust, didn't, uh, like, wasn't too powerful in the finish, but long and strong enough where you really can enjoy it from a finish standpoint. To me, I love this because the nose matches the palette, tons of chocolate, a little bit of bananas, a little bit of orange, a little bit of apple, um, but a lot more chocolate and a lot more oak. So, I mean, the banana notes are there. Some of the burnt orange pillow notes are there. But to me, this is more chocolate and more oak forward. This is like more of like a deeper, richer bourbon, where this was a bit more sweeter um, as a whole. Both fantastic. I would go with either one of these. Ah, gosh, if I had to lean toward one versus the other, I honestly probably would go with this one. And this is just open, I mean, gosh, in the last week, where this has been open for like seven, eight months, if not even a year now, probably. That is absolutely fantastic. Hey, until the next time, my friends, peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate each and every one of you. Later.